Hi, I'm Crystal, and I'm participating in Junk Journal July, hosted by Meg Journals in conjunction with Get Messy Art. And my theme for this month has been making plans for my post-retirement life. Um, so the prompt for the ninth day was scraps, and I've used scraps from the previous pages. So a little bit of paper from my postcard page and a napkin from page one, and I've put some phrases that are appropriate and given myself some writing space on the inside. So I am trying to make some plans just because this big blank page that comes after working all the time, uh, I'm feeling a little bit of trepidation. So next we're moving into the prompt for thread, that's number 10, and I'm going to take some embroidery floss and these extra letters. Every time I die cut letters, I always end up with some leftovers. And so I've just picked out some of those leftover letters um, and I'm going to take the embroidery floss and wrap it all the way around the letter until it's completely covered. Um, that It didn't take very long, and I didn't think this brown paper would take stitching very well. So I've spelled out my word, and then I'm going to move on to prompt 11, which is stamps. And this brown paper that I've used to make this um, junk journal is not really suitable for traditional stamping. It's very rough, it's very lightweight. I don't think I'm going to get a successful image transfer from any kind of traditional stamp. So I'm going to use a, a, a more non-traditional approach and I'm going to start by making a little bit of a background. So I'm taking some inexpensive apple barrel paint and I'm just making a nice background, a little bit of light blue, that's parrot blue, a little bit of light green, that's called Key West. And I'm making this little bit of a background and then a little bit of white at the top where I'm going to write and use my thread wrapped letters. So I've made my background with acrylic paint, I've let that completely dry, and now I'm taking a little bit of folk art metallic in gold and I'm going to stamp with bubble wrap. So I'm not going to get really much better impression with the bubble wrap than I would with a rubber stamp. But of course, the nature of this found item as a stamp is that it's going to be a little bit imperfect. So it's that's what I expect, that's what I'm getting, and I think that works out just fine. Um, I do like a little bit of bubble wrap as a stamp or as an art um, tool. It's a lot of fun, and of course, acrylic paint can be used on a regular rubber stamp, but you do have to be really careful to wash off the stamp completely, otherwise the acrylic paint dries on permanently and you can actually ruin your stamp. With bubble wrap, of course, that's not a problem. You can just use it and toss it and you're no worse off. So now that I've made my, my decorative background, use my gold acrylic paint to make a little decorative border around the page, now I'm going to bring in my thread wrapped letters and I'm going to write on the white paint. And what I'm writing is to use all of the museums, libraries, and attractions that are local. I'm working all the time. I feel like I, I never have enough time to go see the, the stuff that's local. The reason why you live in a city is for all those um, options. And so our local art museum has a free day every Thursday, and the Natural Science Museum is free on Tuesday afternoons. And I just want to take the time to actually go over there and see all the local attractions that I keep meaning to do during my work years and I just never seem to have time. So that is my goal. And I am working ahead just a little bit um, because we are about to experience Hurricane Barrel. Um, so for those of you in the Gulf Coast, I hope that you stay safe with this oncoming hurricane. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal, but there's a real danger that we're gonna lose power. Um, they are likening this to Hurricane Ike, and after Ike, we were without power for 17 days. So I hope that does not happen this time. Um, but if you're on the Gulf Coast or, or wherever you are, stay safe out there. And I thank you for joining me today. 